Hello, my name is Daryl Potter, and I am a junior in the funeral service program at the University of Central Oklahoma. If I had to choose one experience in my life as the most significant, I would choose coming to college. Coming to college has allowed me to question my values and explore who I am. It has given me an even more open mind and allowed me to be more willing to accept change. From coming to college, I have learned that I truly want to dedicate my life to serving others. I want to be a benefit. I've also learned the value of my faith. I've learned that it means so much more to me than I could have ever realized. The difference between being good and being extraordinary in the funeral service industry is tremendous. A funeral director who is good must perform in a manner that is professional, timely, and accurate. However, a funeral director who is extraordinary must go above this calling and give families a service that is both memorable and personal. A funeral director who is extraordinary will also excel in the areas of respect towards the deceased and compassion towards the families. In the funeral home, where I'm soon to start working, my advisor made the statement, if you learn one thing here, I want it to be respect. Respect is vital to being a good quality funeral director. When it comes to embalming or cosmetics, we cannot take any risk, nor can we cut any corners. The family is trusting us with their most valued possession, their loved one, and it is our responsibility to see to it that the care that we give is proper and respectful. Leadership is an important trait to possess in the funeral service industry. It has taken me a while to discover the meaning of leadership, but I've realized that leading is about first having a serving heart. When I began college, I did not know how to get involved. Within a year, I became involved as a member of Residence Hall Council, a senator for an honor society, and even as a resident assistant. The following year, I found myself leading an honor society as president, joining a fraternity as historian, and being accepted into a highly competitive scholarship program on our campus. Outside of school, I have been both blessed and privileged with the opportunity to lead a youth group at a local church. Additionally, I serve as an older brother, and I try to spend as much time as I can with my little brother because he means the world to me.